I'm Alex, and welcome to my European Slaycation, where we will be slaying across Europe for 22 days to experience six countries, visit 16 different European parks, and ride 123 different roller coasters. It's going to be such an epic journey, and I'm so excited to share it with you. Good morning, you guys. Today, we are going to Energy Landia. Oh my god! Woo! Woo! First, we're on the hunt for some iced coffee, and we are wandering the streets of Auschwitz, Poland, actually. And it is a bright, beautiful, sunny day. Like. What, what is that in the sky? I haven't seen that in weeks. It's incredible. It feels so good out, but we're gonna grab some coffee and then we are heading to Energylandia. This town square area is so pretty. I love this place. The town is called Auschwitzim. I, I probably did not pronounce that properly. Auschwitzim. That translates to Auschwitz in English. We just got some vanilla ice lattes at this Kafka coffee house place. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's so good. We're just talking about how we are less than six kilometers away from a massive amusement park slash theme park. And there's just like little villages and fields and that's it. But at some point soon, Zadra and Hyperion will be looming over us. We're gonna like, ride Hyperion today. Yeah, like, like yes. what? How is that happening? Oh my god, we're here. There it is. It exists. There's Hyperion. It's real. It's truly real. Where's Zadra at? Right, oh my god, there she is. Massive. Whoa! Yeah, that lift hill is so intimidating. Oh Zadra! Look at her! Oh my gosh! Look at Hyperion! <laughs> that first drop though looks, looks mad. I'm so excited. Let's go, you guys! We're here, Energylandia! Look at Hyperion, absolutely delicious. And now, it's time for the final park unlock of the series. This page is finally completed. We are inside the park now, and quick shout out to Energylandia, of course, for hosting me today. Thank you guys so, so much. They also hooked me up with a fast pass. I think that's gonna come in handy today, because do you hear all the scanning going on? There's just a massive flow of people flowing in the park right now. Looks like it could be a busy day here. I love the characters on stilts here. This guy came right up to me as I got through security here. For my GoPro, so you come up to this area right to the left of the turnstiles when you're coming in. Security guard there and you check my equipment and gave me a little sticker so that way I can film on ride. And this guy was like, spear like to my neck. And I was like, whoa, hey. So now Jeff is in Woo! and he's got his sticker approval. We gotta wait for Joshi. Our plan is to go to the back of the park, ride Zadra first, and then work our way back to the front, as that is what we have been advised to do from other creators and other vloggers who have been here. I am super excited to get on freaking Zadra. <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. We'll definitely have to revisit Zadra because she'll warm up throughout the day and we can experience how unhinged it'll be later today. Yay, and they have a booster ride. You guys know I love these. <laughs> I can't wait to ride that. And the water coaster looks absolutely insane. Look how tall that thing is. Oh my gosh. And first impression while on the park, it's just absolutely gorgeous here. It's so pretty and it seems massive. It's very flat and you can just see across like and see all the different coasters almost wherever you are. Except for Zadra. Zadra's oh my gosh, wait, there it is. Like look how tall that lift hill is. That's crazy. It's just so much packed in here. Like every which way you look, there's a new little like like I guess that's a dark ride. Zero minute wait there. There's a little just kitty ride right here. Like <laughs> No way in that cold brew coffee here. Let's go. It's, it's made her from cars. <laughs> Monster House, let's go! We were just talking about how this park feels like a roller coaster tycoon scenario where you just have unlimited money and you do whatever you want to just build the most massive, amazing park possible. And that is Energy Landia. <laughs> Jeff was saying it was open, it only opened in like 2015 ish. 2014. We're not exactly 2014. Wow. Let's and go. they've done all of this since in then. That's years. crazy. This is the biggest park we've been to. <laughs> we love an SLC moment, yes. Wait, look at this swing. Oh, pretty cool how we actually go underneath the road above us here to get to the other half of the park where Zadra is. Wow, this area is so nice. Like, look at this. What? Is this a dark ride? Oh, it's just these uh, little dragon monorail ride thing. I've said it a million times, so I'm gonna say it again. The European parks are just on a whole nother level. 
Like, this is incredible. I think that's the name of the area? Smogsigrod? Or the ride? I don't know. Whoa! This area is so nice. There's a Zarja shop, okay. It's giving like a larger um, Hogsmeade. Yeah, it's like this big Yeah, where you have more space. Yeah, this is so cool. It's like such a different vibe from the rest of the park. Like this it is totally so is. Much more um, enclosed. Yeah, and it's also like, a lot everything feels really open. Here. Yeah, There's yet so far. Uh, okay, continue going Zadra. Straight. Yes, Zadra, the wooden coaster. <laughs> here we go. Zadra Lena time zero minute wait. All right. We love to see it. Here's the queue. I wonder how long this queue is gonna be. This is gonna be super cool and all these trees are grown and much larger as well. A bit more like enclosed space right here. This queue path is so wide. Oh my gosh, this queue is absolutely massive. <laughs> Rewrites for this thing is gonna be a workout. Oh my god. Look at her. Zadra's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. This queue is so long. We should have like started a walking workout to time the distance we walked to go through the queue. Three minutes of exercise on my Apple Watch from it so far. <laughs> we just passed the 50 minute marker. Holy cow. 20 minutes. 10 minutes in. Here are the lockers. They split the lines up here for the rows like super early in the station, which is cool. Oh, okay. So that row is for the first row. I think the second line is for single riders. Third line was for everyone else, but there's also a fourth line here. These two converge, I think, so I guess I'm just in everywhere else. And then after this part, you select what row you want to sit in in the actual station. Cool, so it counts off how many people can enter this area right here. There we go. This is so crazy. I can't believe I'm about to go into the freaking station of Zadra. <laughs> what? My goal is to get the back row. I'm not sure what it's gonna be like on the inside, like how the row selection or grouping will go, but uh, fingers crossed they can get the back row because I think that would just be absolutely absurd. Here we go. Here we freaking go. Oh, yes, 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 we got the back car. Let's go. Here we go, you guys, oh my God. We are on the back car of Zodra right now. Dispatched out of the station. Holy crap. Can't believe I'm here. Oh my God. If you haven't already, now would be a great time to like the video, subscribe to the channel! Woo! That was pretty crazy. But do you want to know something that's truly scary? Never becoming aware of your subconscious cycles and repeating unhealthy patterns that keep you locked in the same place in life instead of growing into the person you're truly meant to become. Well, all that doesn't have to be so scary thanks to the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to bring access to therapy to as many people as possible. And I love that mission so, so much because making the decision to go to therapy was the single best decision I have ever done for myself in my entire life, without a doubt. And I believe everyone can benefit from working with a therapist that they really click with. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the correct therapist in their network. With BetterHelp, you can talk to your therapist however you feel most comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video call. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality that you would expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom-picked for you, more scheduling flexibility, and at a more affordable price. If you'd like to get started on your therapy journey to be the best girl boss self you can possibly be, you can get 10% off using my link betterhelp.com slash adventures with Alex. That's better H-E-L-P help.com slash adventures with Alex, or you can click the link in the description down below. Thanks so much guys. Let's get back to the vlog now. Okay. Hmm. I still think Steve is better though. 
Okay, Zadra was awesome, but just, I almost hate to say it, but I think I may have had too high of expectations. I was kind of expecting this to blow Steve out of the water, but it just, it kind of didn't. I think I still prefer Steel Vengeance over Zadra. Like Zadra was super awesome, I'm so glad I got to ride it. Absolutely cannot believe that I just freaking rode Zadra, like that is just insane. But it didn't go as crazy as I thought it would. Hmm. I've got, I've, I'm a little, almost a little shocked. I need to, I need to gather my thoughts on that, I think. The airtime just didn't hit quite as hard. The first drop was amazing. Oh my gosh, I was like set up with that so well. I was really excited for the rest of the layout. And then it just didn't really like, I don't know, the airtime just didn't hit as hard as I thought it would. But what it did though, was it was so fast. The entire time just flying through all of the elements. Like it did not slow down. There were a couple of moments where it like slowed down a little bit, like, I don't you know, like going through an inversion. But then it was just like the speed was just relentless throughout the entire ride. And this is just in the morning. Like it's 10.53. It only just opened a little bit ago. We're gonna come back later. I bet this thing will be running like super unhinged. I think I'm also just, a little sad. I was anticipating this coaster so much, and it was a, it was really fun. Do not get me wrong. I still really enjoyed the ride, but I just was like, I was just expecting this to just absolutely like blow my expectations out of the water. And I'm not someone who necessarily like tries to have expectations for a roller coaster in the first place. But I was just like, that just wasn't as punchy as Steve, as Steel Vengeance. So I'm like. I, think, I, I still rate Steel Vengeance as my number one. And I think Iron Gwazi is still my number two. I think Zodra is my number three, honestly. Like, which is still high, but it was just, I don't know, man, darn it. I had high expectations and maybe they were just a little too high. Still an amazing ride. I freaking love Zodra. Please do not get me wrong. I'm just also like processing two types of emotions at the same time right now. Of like happiness and excitement that I just rode Zodra. And also like, oh, a little, a little sad um, that didn't just go as crazy as I thought it was going to. Well, we will ride it later today, so things will probably be unhinged at that point. Oh no, I missed them. There goes Jeff and Josh. Uh, I didn't realize they were on the train. How was it for you guys? I loved it. It's very different than any RMC I think that we've ever been on. This is definitely it's a bit like, like speed coaster. This is like yeah, it's like all super focused. fast all the time. The way that I phrased it, it was kind of like similar to Millennium Force. Yeah. Like it's not super intense and it's not crazy, but it's just so focused on speed the from the time you drop off the lift until like oh, yeah. you throw like you fall forward in You're the break run. Looking at the like entire way. Yeah. It's very good, but there are some really good moments of airtime throughout the ride and like yeah. the zero G stall is like it's super fun. Incredible. Like best stall out there for sure. Like for me, I I loved it. I don't know. I think I like the airy one more. I just like the I had so much more one. fun like, on I, it. Like this one, you just see like all the track below you and everything, oh, that's true. which I really like. Airy is, is very good, like in terms of like force and like length, but this one has like just such a cool setting of like being upside down and like seeing like the hole right under you. I really, really like oh, that yeah, part. Yeah. yeah, it's good though. It's very good. I want to come back to it later when it's warm. So it's unhinged. Because yeah. I was like, I was a little sad hitting the brake run, cause, or even throughout the ride, I was like, no! Yeah. I was expecting this to like blow Steel Vengeance out of the water, but yeah. I had the wrong expectations going into it. It's still a really fun ride, and I really enjoyed it, but it was like, oh. Well, like it left a little more to be more. desired. I think it's, for me, it sits like four out of RMCs right now. I would say yeah. like Steel Vengeance, Iron Quasi, Untamed, Zadra. Oh yeah, Untamed, right yeah. Like Zodra, or Untamed's okay, I said Zadra was three, like, but I forgot about Untamed. Yeah. I think Untamed's airtime just like hits. Like, it I mean, does, it's it hits wild. so hard, it's yeah. just unhinged. But yeah, untamed, overall, unhinged. It's very good. Zadra, it's pretty like, well hinged. Like world class coaster yeah, for oh, sure, absolutely. but like... It's hard to compare like yeah. when they're all so like... So good, yeah. yeah. It really is. It, it's a different... A different experience on this coaster, for sure. I think that's what it was meant yeah. to be as well. Because it might be a really good compliment to Hyperion, right? Like, they might yeah. have wanted to do something like, like a lot of airtime. Like, mega intense coasters. Right. because like that, you kind of get the balance of like speed yeah. with this one, and maybe airtime with that one later, so. I like so, that, yeah. I see that. But yeah, the speed definitely took me by surprise, but that was the thing that I noticed the most. Oh my God, it's so And fast. I was like. It's wild. I wanted to notice airtime the most. <laughs> my favorite moment, I think I said it was the zero G stall, but I take that back. Yeah. It's really low to the ground. It's like an S bend right before the final inversion. Yeah, yeah, that thing, yeah, that thing was awesome. I got wild. footage of you guys on it, oh, and you're like, thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> that was, <yeah. laughs> it was wild. Look at how awesome Saja's drop is right here. That vertical section, delicious. So nice getting snacks here. I got a water bottle for $2, and this massive chocolate croissant for only $2.50. 
I've eaten half of it, so just imagine it being twice as big as now. To give you an idea how big the park is, there's Hyperion. All the way over here is Zadra, which we were just at. Now we're going to uh, Abyssus. Yes. And Abyssus is going to be a Vekoma coaster like Lek coaster was, but this one's launched. So that'll add an extra element of thrill to it. There it goes! Abyssus! This is going to be our next coaster. Looks freaking sick. Vertical loop moment. Abyssus, here we go. So love the look of this coaster. <laughs> Because it's blue. Cause it's blue. <laughs> okay, the queue seems pretty dead. So hopefully we just get right into the station. I think that's what's gonna happen. Oh, here's the queue. So it's probably about a 20 minute wait. We just saw a 30 minute marker back there. So that's not bad. I love this little pre-launch section. It's so cute. <laughs> There's a box full of oopsie doopsies in here. The vests on this coaster though are quite a lot thinner than black coaster, that's nice. Here we go you guys, Abyssus. Front row of the back car. I was like, wait, front row? <laughs> yeah. Back car, front row. <laughs> here we go. I'm excited. New Jin Vekoma number two. Super excited too. Whoa, okay, that was punchier than I expected. Good air time right there. Whoa, already more air time than Zadra. It's, not, <laughs> it's already last Yeah, it's so nice. Oh yeah, I'm hyped. Let's go. Whoa, oh that twist is cool. Not me enjoying a business more than Zadra. <laughs> that was so good. I love that. Abyssus was super fun. I really enjoyed that. The new Jin Vekomas are so good. Glass smooth. A lot of good pops of air time throughout that ride. Like, not gonna lie, I like the air time on this more than Zadra's. <laughs> Comparing this to Let Coaster, I think I prefer Let Coaster. I felt like Let Coaster was a bit more unhinged. This was a nice, like, smooth, kind of gradual roller coaster. Felt a little more family friendly I suppose um, whereas like coaster felt a little bit more like thrill seeking um, this one's still super fun to drop hit really well the, it's super trimmed up there again but uh, it still hits super good in the back uh, absolutely love the ride though so much fun now we're gonna grab a eat at this place uh, called Hall of Columns it's got a big variety of food in there and it just looks like a cool building here we go this is so nice and it's like cafeteria style or like grab and go Look at this area, oh my gosh. Look at this food. I got a big pork chop, some green beans, and a cucumber salad. And then these guys got all this crazy looking stuff. This kind of looks like a food. Um, this ramen, and what'd you get, Josh? Sweet and sour chicken. There we go. Sweet and sour chicken. I almost called you Josh. <laughs> so that's great. Um, um, it. mm, it's really good, super good. So far, the pork chop is super good. I love it. The cucumber salad is really fresh and refreshing. These green beans, though, are a little odd. I don't really know what's going on there. The flavor is kind of strange. I thought it was going to be like green beans with like Parmesan cheese. I also don't know what these white ones are. Are they just white green beans? I don't know. But the flavor doesn't really do it for me. And my meal was only $16.52 in US dollars. 
And theirs combined was only about 30 bucks. Yeah, really, really good. That's crazy. We finished up our lunch and we are heading back to the other side of the park now to go do Formula and the Vacoma <laughs> SLC. So that'll be epic. The views in this park are so nice. The Wonder Wheel looks amazing. This area is going to be super awesome as well when all these trees grow up to be much larger and more like immersed in this land. And here is Formula. This cute little launch coaster. Is this also a Vacoma? Yeah. Yay, another Vacoma. Right next to Formula is uh, another Vacoma coaster, this Vacoma Flyer. This ride looks so fun and cute and cute and fun. Woo! Oh, I don't like this setup here. They've got the, the shooting ride that shoots water into the queue here. Like, why? <laughs> they need to screen this off. It's warm today, so it feels kind of good, but you know, we're not, we're not in an area where we want to be wet. <laughs> Energylandia operations appreciation moment. They are just flying these trains out. Like the train just returned. I bet one's going to launch in like a second. Yeah, there we go. Like literally there we go. They just keep the lines moving so well. Just really appreciative of that, especially on such, especially in such a busy park. I mean, you kind of have to, otherwise everyone's going to be upset. But <laughs> I think Energylandia really does a great job with that. The locker system is the most convenient thing ever. We just have a wristband, and you just stick your arm right there, and then a locker pops open. Boom, done. You go around, gain your wristband again, take yourself out. Super easy and so fast. Up at the station, it's been just over 22 minutes. Really good. All about like a 25 minute wait by the time we're on the train and actually out of the station. We had to advertise 30 minutes, so really, really on point. All right, here we go, front row freak out. Hey. Here we go, formula time, yeah, yeah this insane crazy. dispatch, super fast. Who are these guys? Yeah, look at all of them. They look like aliens. Is this Area 51? Oh my gosh. That was amazing. That was incredible. <laughs> I love that. It was like a little baby abyss. Yeah, it was. Look at and look at they're already dispatched. They're already gone. That's wild. no stacking, like Energy done and out. Insane. Seriously. <laughs> that was like extra fun and cute and cute and fun. <laughs> it was like it cute really and fun, was. fun and cute plus. Plus indeed. <laughs> like premium version. That was so fun. I really, really enjoyed that ride and it was incredibly smooth. Vacoma, new favorite manufacturer. <laughs> really though? Like really the though. Like, yeah. It's been amazing. I would love to see them do like a hyper coaster, you know? It'd be insane. Oh, we're gonna go ride the Vacoma SLC. Okay, Jeff just informed me as well that this Vacoma SLC is entirely but entirely repo. Oh my gosh. I'm tired from this trip. I am exhausted. <laughs> that this Vacoma SLC is entirely reprofiled, just like Python at um, Eftily. So it should be a really, really smooth experience. I'm very much looking forward to it now. Yeah. I, we, we like SLCs. We love Python. We like and, them. Yeah. We're like I like weird. SLCs that's anyway. Why, that's yeah. why we get along. We, <laughs> we like, like SLCs. SLCs. <laughs> like, we actually enjoy them. That's and what we share this in common one has, like, here. new trains yeah. and it has like a new like, like, I'm what? into it. I'm super I'm into so it. Yeah, I'm actually very excited for this coaster. This coaster is beautiful. The sun's hitting it and just making the colors pop right now. Look at that orange track and red supports. It's funny, we only just now realized it actually has the orange track. We thought it had red track with red supports because they're so similar in shade. And also we were laughing about the uh, the sun shades here, how they're dirty, but it also makes them look like pita bread or like tortilla and it, this area is Mayan themed, so <laughs> it actually works for the, the theming of the area. Okay, pop off with the station. This Vacoma SLC moment. Vacoma SL Slave incoming. And also it's a back row blowout. Go! <laughs> In unison, back row blowout on a Vacoma SL Slay. No need to hold on to anything. I'm gonna have my hands up the whole time. Here we go. Oh, it's so smooth. Oh, okay. Oh, a little bonky there, actually. Oh, 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 oh my god. Agreed. I enjoyed it.
literally me on my end. My end was a Vekoma SL Slay certified. She had a couple goofy moments there where there was some shuffling, but overall it was a really, really smooth Vekoma SLC. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to ride Hyperion. It looks so good. For now though, we're looking for a bathroom and then we're gonna do the drop tower behind us and the crazy mouse ride. It's a spinning wild mouse that's over here. This drop tower is so cute looking. It just looks so small compared to all the drop towers we've been riding lately. Oh boy, we have quite the cutbacks to get through here. 40 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Oh my gosh, this drop tower is gonna be insane. I'm scared. I'm so nervous. Yeah. It's giving the elevator. Okay, here we go. Time to ride the elevator. Hyperion is slaying over there. Okay, it's a bit higher up here I than it looks. It's a little taller We're than still I going. Wow. Here we go. Here we go. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> it's so light. So gentle. Yeah, it's a good observation tower. You get a nice view of the park and a breeze as you go down. We're not over yet. We get that three drop special. A little bit of, woo! I got like a little bit of tummy tickle. Very, very, very slight amount. I think this girly needs to um, work on filling up her own cup before trying to give to others because she has nothing to give. <laughs> I've been on elevators with a more forceful drop than that ride. It was, it was calm though. It, yeah, like sit down moment, yeah. rest your leg, observation tower. Observation tower. Real one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. Energy like, landed, should get like an insane uh, one. It would be such a cool view. Too. It we would be, like yeah. Oh my god, yeah. yeah Highlander was good. amazing. Next up, we got a crazy mouse. Woo! Whoa! Oh my gosh, there's a baby top spin over here. Let's see if we can see the car come through. <laughs> that looks so fun. Oh, look at the dragon. He's got his head poking through. <laughs> Oh gosh, my heart circulation is getting cut off. Yeah, these are terrible restraints. Uh, I don't wanna. I don't either. I regret this already. Oh, oh no. my! <laughs> I didn't get a chance to pull my sunglasses down either, so they just are on the seat uh, now. I wish I could help you. But I know, I can't <laughs> reach it. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep my head back Please. to hold my sunglasses. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's already bumpy, what? Okay. okay that's fine. Uh, sunglasses. Oh god. I might have just rubbed them. <laughs> I heard something pop. Oh jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Woo! Oh what? Oh god. Oh. Oh, that was terrible. Yeah, the three spin. Oh shoot. Oh god, we're getting rocked in the rubber spins. Oh, okay. Whoa. Was yeah, good. same. Oh, but it was still not good. So bad. Yeah. I'm good. The restraints are horrible. I'm good. Same. That was a lot of spinning too. Oh my gosh. That was so bad. It was quite a mess. The restraints were awful. Mine and Jeff's arms were just like squished together. I couldn't move it. It's super uncomfortable. We swung in this place because they have cold brew. Well, this does not show it, but uh, <laughs> we just ordered some cold brew. Well, look at these donuts. They are absolutely massive. Here's the cold brew, and I got a little blueberry muffin. It's pretty good. It tastes a little different, but I'm not exactly sure how to describe it. Okay, our next ride is gonna be speed, because just look at how absurd it is. I'm so excited to ride it. That drop <laughs> is so crazy looking. Oh, is that supposed to be Alex the lion? From Madagascar? Oh my gosh, look at this massive wall of lockers right here. I think these are all for speed. I 
for the water park. It's so oh, fun. okay, yeah. That's just for the water park. Here we go, speed and only a 20 minute wait. That's not bad at all. Elevator structure is so funny looking. This is like two long legs. And just look at the size of the airtime hill. That's like the size of one of Poseidon's main drops. Car stunt show going on over there. All of the smoke from the tires is blowing over here and it smells so bad. Okay, here we go. We're taking front row. You're welcome, you guys. We're doing this for you, for the POV. My shoes are gonna be soaked. I like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. I don't need I don't those. Like Oh, oh, oh my oh, gosh, oh, it, just, oh. it was teasing us, oh, that was dicey it's showing us what it can do. Oh. I'm hoping we don't get too oh, wet. These rapids are crazy. They are. Oh it's like we're in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that. The elevator. massive elevator, look at these legs. Uh, elevator oh legs. Oh my god, it's huge. Yeah. Look up there. Oh. <laughs> oh, and it, it tilts yeah. us a little bit. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa, we're really high up. Wild. This is wild actually. Oh <laughs> Look at that drop! Oh what? Oh god. Literally what oh, is about to happen? Oh, oh my god. I hope we're connected. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It just hit me right in the mouth. <laughs> Whee! Air time! It's so fun. <laughs> it is actually really fun. Whee! It's so pleasant. It is. It's so smooth. Whee! That was nice, actually. Oh, that was it didn't like cascade oh, over. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! That was so scary. <laughs> um, <laughs> my shoes aren't wet. My shoes aren't wet, but I'm nice and like misted. That was really good, actually. I like that a lot. That was great. Ten out of ten. Yeah. Woo. I'm really happy with that. It was fun. The drop was intimidating, like being way up there, just in the sky, looking down, and you're just in this little boat car. The splashdowns, like, were really nice because they just kind of like hit you with a spray instead of like drenching your body with water. At least in the front seat. You can see how wet Josh got on his back here because the car is not one piece. It's actually two pieces and there's a gap between the second piece so the water like came up and shot his back. Now we are finally making our way over to Hyperion. Yes! I can't wait! <laughs> so I just got one of these orange drinks because I want to try them. Um, I just noticed that the Nutri-Score is E, which is what Josh's Mountain Dew has scored as well, so, uh... Hmm, this has a interesting flavor to it. It's like... Is it Fanta? No, it's Mirinda. Um, tastes like a liquid orange dum-dum sucker with okay. carbonation. Yeah. That's a string of words. Try? Yeah. Sure. That's a string of words. That is most definitely a string of words. Hmm. Right? It's like very, very orange. Yeah, I like it. I wish it was a little less sugary. It'd yeah. be a little more refreshing then, but it's still not bad. It's not as orangey as like the Phantom Orange. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more soda -y. Sugary, yeah. yeah. I'm so excited for this ride. This looks this so is, fun. I think this is the one that, like my most anticipated ride of the entire trip. Oh really? Mine was Ride to Happiness, 100%. That was, yeah. This mm -hmm. yeah. fly and Ride to Happiness. This would be number like, two. would be like tied for me, like what I was most, most excited for. One of your number ones. Yeah. yeah. I just like, I don't know if I could like tell you which one I was most excited, most excited for. for yeah. But like, you know me, I'm such an intimate fanboy. Like this is like, this is like what I've been waiting for. The cream <laughs> this the crop is, like, right here. Eight. Yeah. I cannot wait. I get that. Oh my gosh, I want to go back left and get whipped over that that's drop. It. That's right. Yeah. Let's, let's see. Yeah. Back row, <laughs> left wing seat. I'm doing it. Okay, we've got a security screening here down in the locker area. We are not able to bring our phones up there, so we'll have to leave the phone in the locker, but we will have our GoPros. This is pretty cool. It, there's a planet. <laughs> Look at this cube. We just wrap around up and up and up right here. So you go all the way back down. <laughs> Okay, so this next part is so chaotic. This area we're in is kind of like a holding area where everybody stands in front of these turnstiles and eventually the turnstiles unlock for people to go through. Once that happens, it is a mad dash to a set of doors to get you into the station to get to your preferred row. It's so chaotic and really quite disorganized. I was a little scared doing this, <laughs> but we made it and we got the back row. So made your say. Here we go. Hyperion, I can't believe it. Such a beautiful day. Here we go!
That was sick. Here we go, Hyperion Road 3! Okay, so I just did two rides on Hyperion really quickly. We rode in the back together, which was so much fun. And then I went back around fast pass and got row three on the left wing seat. And I rode in the back right wing seat last time. The wing seats were really fun, but you definitely pay for it at the end. The second half is super rattly. Like, it feels like the whole train is going goo, 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 goo. Apparently it's only the wing seats because Josh rode in the middle seat. Yeah, it was and like not like super smooth, like no worse than a B&M rattle, but it was very smooth in my opinion. Nice, yeah, and it was definitely a bit smoother in the front, but still have, happened to have a lot of rattle in the second half there. Airtime's really good, the drop is amazing. I would say this drop is better than Fury's. I really like this one a lot more. It just feels like it's just gonna keep getting steeper and steeper and steeper as you come over the over the lift, and especially even in the front of the train, it still hit really hard in the third row. And the last little bits of elements, they're whippy. It'd be a lot more fun though in the wing seat if it wasn't so rattly, because at some point you kind of start like, feel like you're almost fighting for your life a little bit. <laughs> Definitely want to get some more rides on it in a non-wing seat and see the difference as well. But overall, super fun. Is it your time better in the front? Or... It just hit in different spots, I feel like. I mean, it may have been a little better, like getting pushed up into the airtime hill, I felt like quite a bit of good ejector. And I was surprised to be ejected up into the dive loop portion as well or not anti-dive loop i don't know is that a dive loop <laughs> we don't necessarily you're close to inverting but not quite there i don't know but it was really nice because it was like up and then over in, in that spot i'm gonna call it a dive loop because the dive loop yeah like, agreed it's wild the wind that you get it really is you remind me of karen when you are flung over and you're like in a different position in your seat you got to readjust yourself that's what it was like now we're stopping for some dinner at the scandinavian restaurant that roasted knuckle looks yummy. Here's the restaurant. We got dinner for um, IKEA. <laughs> this whole plate was only $12 too, super awesome. They got some pierogies and Jeff and I got the same meal, essentially. So, so good. Yeah, the meatballs are really good. I haven't tried the veggies yet. Mm. They're pretty good for steamed veggies. Usually steamed veggies don't have any flavor, but these have like a little flavor. All right, now we're gonna do this little Vacoma family boomerang. Only 10 minute wait. It's also a new gen Vacoma. So this will be fun. <laughs> Woo! Little station flyby built in. And it's a really cute little station. It's themed after a bat, it seems. So it's giving kind of like a, a barn maybe that a bat lives in. It like flies through. So it's super cute. And the bat character is absolutely adorable. Look at his little face. Oh, I like these trains. Looks like you get a good amount of leg room in them. Oh, it's the same lap bar as the boomerang in uh, Fantasia Land, of course. I don't like this lap bar. <laughs> we here we go. <laughs> That's cute, the bat above the clock up there. Boomerang was really cute. It was super smooth and fun and the backwards was like just long enough. Cause if it had been any longer, I definitely would have gotten like a mild amount of nausea. So 
It was a it was a good amount of backwards there. It was cute. Good little family coaster. Fun and cute and cute and fun. Man, the car show is just bonkers. Like we're on the other side of the park and we still hear it just vividly. Like we are so far away from it. The way the sound reverbs through the park is crazy. And I just don't like it because the tire smell then wafts across the entire park as well and it just makes it smell really bad. The smell of burning rubber. Oh my gosh, I wanna do that. I wanna do the baby top spin. <laughs> this looks so fun. Telekin new? Yeah, right? She could never. She could never. <laughs> Mom, I wanna go on Telekin. We have Telekin at home. <laughs> Telekin at home. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, okay, we're just looking at the ground. This is this is nice. <laughs> no, I didn't record. Oh, no. Damn it! Did you? Yeah, I was right. my thing. Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay, literally not us missing recording that ride entirely on both of our GoPros. I think I accidentally stopped recording from the bat ride. So when I clicked it, when I was sitting on this ride, it turned it off. And when I clicked it at the end. For what I thought was stopping it, I started recording. I don't know. Oh, I good. came off and it said it wasn't recording. Oh, no. <laughs> you need to go again? Hold I'm on. dying. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Yay! Good. It's like made for tall people, right? Good, yeah, it fits me comfortably as well. Here we go! Oh, we're just gonna go. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Uh, okay, we're just looking at the ground. This is this is nice. <laughs> huh? This car show is going off again. <laughs> Ridiculous. I feel like all day long we've just heard cars screeching throughout the park. <laughs> all right, we're gonna do the Vacoma Flyer now. 20 minute wait. I mean, not Vacoma Flyer. <laughs> the Vacoma suspended family coaster thing. Here we go. Josh has pointed out that this suspended coaster, or whatever, inverted coaster, is the same colors as Speed, just inverted. Green track, blue sports, and this has blue track. Green supports. You know why? Why? Because it's an invert. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Damn. Jeff's in jail. Damn. The vlogs are coming to a halt. Oh no. <laughs> he doesn't have his laptop. Oh no. Oh no. Check out that station flyby. We love to see it. Where are they at? Where are they? Come on. Come on. Where are they at? There they are. Woo! Dragon Flyer thing, roller coaster, I forgot the name. It's so pretty out. And then after this, we're gonna go to Zazra. It is so pretty out. Woo! Whoa! Okay, that dropped off. Whoa! That was a good drop. Whoa, it's so smooth. Woo! 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 It's so good. <laughs> Woo! 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 Whoa! It was so, that was beautiful. That absolutely gave everything. That was so fun. I loved that coaster. Okay, this is worthy of more rerides on this one. Literally, that drop actually hit. Oh my god, yeah. it was great, right? It was right? super good. <laughs> this coaster absolutely slayed. Dragon is amazing. I stand this ride all day long. Like, this drop right here actually went so crazy in the back. I did not expect that at all. We got some airtime. It pulled you down and like you go through the dragon's mouth right there. So cool, and then you're swooping down by the water. That was really nice. And the helices all pull like a good amount of positive force. I was like, wait, I love this coaster. <laughs> I was not expecting I mean, that. Didn't you love it when he rode it at Dollywood? 
No, I didn't ride that one. Oh, okay. I missed it. Yeah, no, I didn't get same, to ride that coaster. Oh man, okay, well, good choice, Dollywood. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> look at all the coasters right here. Well, it's really just three coasters, but look at all the roller coaster track. Oh, that duel. Okay, it's giving dueling dragons. So, this is Arm F Dragon Roller Coaster. That's the full name of the green coaster really we just rode. <laughs> really? Maybe that is what it means. <laughs> or Raging Monster Fart. Yeah. yeah. A big one. <laughs> It's been like protein. We're now making our way over to Zaudralina. Another experience with her tonight. We'll see how different it's gonna be from this morning. Up, yeah. <laughs> she better be ready. Better be ready for me. <laughs> okay, just getting on Zaudra right now. We're actually gonna go do Frida and then another boomerang ride and end on Zaudra. So that way we've given it all day as long as possible to warm up as much as it possibly can and it should be a really good finisher for the day here we go frida whoa this queue line is so strange it's so tall and the the layers of wood like crisscrossing is is a little trippy it's it's an interesting vibe in this queue line here we go frida Woo! Ooh, it's so pleasant and smooth I love it! Beautiful views too! Woo! It's so cute! And smooth and fun! Oh, that was so nice! Frida was a sleigh! Frida was super fun and cute and cute and fun! I really, really enjoyed that! <laughs> I did not expect to enjoy that! My phone decided to be a goofy girl there and just uh, freeze for some reason while I was vlogging. But yeah, I was saying Frida was a super great coaster and I really enjoyed it. I did not expect to enjoy it as much as I did. Now we're going on the other Vacoma boomerang over here. This one looks um, like a much more robust. Why is it so hard? This one looks like a much more robust version of the boomerang we rode earlier. So this actually looks really fun. I know it's hard to. It's hard for you guys. Uh, I know it's hard for you guys to understand the scale of this park in a vlog because we cut out all the walking to get to places, but man, this place is freaking huge. We just walked so much to get over here, and it's just crazy how expansive it is. Equipa something, I think? Light Explorers. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this is like a. Oh, look, this is cool. I want to play in this. <laughs> I love little streams and stuff. They just. They really excite me. I love water. But we're super glad to have waited until the end of the day to come to this coaster because it's got a zero minute wait and earlier today I had like a 40 minute wait. This is epic. And can we just talk about that sunset for a moment? Like, oh my gosh, looks absolutely beautiful. The lighting, incredible. Oh, someone abandoned a hat. Rest in peace, yellow hat. Look at that. Absolutely freaking beautiful. Oh my God. Hey yo, we got a front row freak out. Whoa, whoa. Here we go. Also, these restraints on this Vacoma are much better. They're way more accommodating for long legs. Are you guys ready? This is gonna be so insane. So crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Little air time right there. Whee! scared looking uh, face on no the uh, That was another really good, fun and cute and cute and fun. I love that. It was a major slay. Major slay in, in terms of fun and cute and cute and fun. Zooming out over the water, the airtime was actually pretty good. Like, and we were going pretty quick. Uh, the rollback was nice and long. Like we went further up the, uh, the uh, <laughs> three three family Yeah, yeah. And they are so fun. They're so pleasant. Okay, it's pop quiz time, Zaudra. I hope you've studied, I hope you've prepared, because we are coming to challenge you right now to see if you give us anything. 
I'm being really harsh and overly dramatic. Zaz was a fun coaster. I had fun on her this morning, but I really hope she's like become unhinged now since she's warmed up throughout today. We have 20 minutes until closing, so. Because RMF Dragon in the Helices Like were... actually hit harder than Zodra did. Sorry guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like I actually enjoyed Abyssus more than Zodra this morning. So here we go. <laughs> Let's see. If you guys Let's see. Are yeah. I've also gotten some Instagram feedback on that as well. <laughs> I've not seen a train go in a while though, so it's like, mm. <laughs> hello. Hello. Wake up. Fishy, wake up. Fishy, wake up. Wake up. Is that your wake up? <laughs> wow, it is just like super freaking pretty right now though, and the weather feels absolutely perfect. Like more than perfect. It feels absurdly perfect. <laughs> Look at this dedication right here. These creators working together to get this shot. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, so the queue does not look bad, but they just pulled a train off. So now they're on one train off. So this is gonna take quite a while. It's 8.16 now. Well, literally update, probably not even a minute later. Um, they just put the other train back on. So I don't know what that was about. Well, I was waiting for row one, but they just closed it because the park is closed, so I had to move over to go to a different row. So we got like smacked down in the middle of the train. I think it'll still be a really fun ride. A little disappointed that I get the front row, but we can ride it tomorrow. And then it was super awesome uh, meeting some friends out there. I'll show them very qu really quickly if they look at my channel. And also check out this kid in this awesome Xbox shirt. <laughs> Here we go! Let's go! <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> Yeah. Also, I ran into some viewers! What's up, guys? We just got to ride the second train from the last yeah. train. Yeah. The second to last train of the night. <laughs> that was really fun. Yeah. Zadra was a different experience at the end of the night than this morning. Bye, Zadra! Zadra, I would say it got closer to meeting my expectations with that. It's just a different type of RMC. It's all about the speed more than anything. Really, the main unhinged moment is this little S-Bend. Hello? This little S-Bend right before that last inversion, you really get whipped over on it. And with that, park is closed, nothing else to do, so we are leaving. Energylandia was awesome. Kind of want to say like the top two is like good, but not like things that I'm mind blown by. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. They were good. They, they were, were good. They're, it's a good one-two punch, but it's not anything like... I'm like and I love the coasters, don't get me wrong. It's just, I'm not like I absolutely think... blown away by them. Like two Tatis and Ride to right. Happiness, that was just earth shattering to me i think like what people watching will have to like remember is like we've literally ridden like 150 coasters we are pretty coaster burnt <laughs> out and exhausted <laughs> and like we've just experienced like the best of the best of europe because that's what this trip really was was like we hit like everything that was well known and not everything can be amazing right but yeah nothing would be amazing exactly <laughs> it's, it's hard so, so it's just like, like we've like, already done a bunch of coasters that we enjoyed more than these and so that's I've been to a lot of parks that have had like that one amazing coaster. I would say Energylandia is a park that has a lot of really good coasters, but no one standout amazing. Super coaster. amazing, awesome. Yeah, it's just I a agree. very well rounded park in yeah. terms of what the top tier of the coasters are. Right. And the top two here is a good selection. Yeah. I would even say great, but it's something that's like Boom! This is the epic coaster statement. It almost doesn't park. need the one standout because it has so Agreed. many that, that are really good really well yeah that are still worth coming for. very well put that's that's on energy landia day one while day one was super fun at energy landia some things just didn't quite hit as hard as i thought they would i'm so glad we planned two days at this park because on day two we had quite the redemption arc here's a little sneak peek for you that oh, first airtime hill went so crazy yay oh okay that's God. a pretty good redemption honestly <laughs> 